Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. This episode is all about brand new patterns that are released. Uh, so far for this month, we've had quite a few. And just this morning, we had two new releases that I just couldn't wait to jot down here in my little book and talk to you about because I think it's a really exciting way of getting the Sojo back if you're struggling a bit or if you're not quite sure what to make heading into uh, a different season. This can hopefully give you that push that you need. This channel is all about sewing your own wardrobe, so I hope you find some inspiration. And don't forget, there are three and a half years worth of episodes to go back and check through. And I know a lot of you are doing that on a lot of my previous episodes because I do get a lot of comments popping up. So thank you so much if you've managed to uh, yeah, comment on one of my episodes. And it's always a great way of seeing what you guys are interested in looking at. These episodes are always really popular because I think people love hearing about what's new on the sewing grapevine. I've had a really busy week before I get started. I, uh, yeah, I've had boxes all sent out. They are all on their way. That was the Empress box uh, from the Daly Society's Bespoke Mystery Boxes. They are all on their way. So if you haven't received them yet, they are, they are coming shortly. I've also had quite a few people ask me um, why I'm not uh, going to be hosting the so April blouse challenge that I have gladly handed over to uh, Gabrielle. Of course, it is Gabrielle's baby. She's the one that came up with the challenge the last two years we've hosted together. And now Ruan and Gabrielle will be hosting that. So by all means, go ahead and make a blouse and use that hashtag uh, to be in the running for some great prizes. And of course, I will be donating a prize to this challenge as well because I really think it's a wonderful challenge and I will also be making some blouses and giving you plenty of blouse inspiration. Life has just gotten so busy at the moment and I knew that it would take away from my main purpose which is uh, giving you guys sewing inspiration by YouTube vlogs and also now my online fabric store and boxes too are keeping me incredibly incredibly busy uh, which is fantastic. Uh, so I just think I wanted to really focus on you guys the viewer and the customer uh, because it is such a huge undertaking when you're taking on sewing hashtags and challenges it really does take so much work and I know that Gabrielle has got it all under control there um, but it has been a really successful challenge the last couple of years so make sure you go ahead and support those ladies but yeah I just I knew that if I uh, if I did it this year it was going to take away from what is very important to me and that is getting out YouTube episodes. I've got so much happening with uh, not only the channel and the shop um, but we're also in the middle of uh, doing a bit of renovating to my late father-in-law's uh, house and we are trying to prepare that to get that ready to sell and it's been a matter of spending weekends repainting, stripping 1970s wallpaper that has been the most horrific job ever. I, I swear uh, I said to my husband, I swear that your dad hung this up with super glue. It has been the most awful stuff to take down. It's really taking a lot of my time. I've also got a daughter that's moving out of home next month. She's uh, bought a new house with her partner. So there'll be lots of moving happening. So I said to Gabrielle, look, I know that I can't fully commit to this challenge and I would rather you guys take over before I just burn myself out. So I think the older you get, the more you get to know what your threshold is and how much you can burden yourself with or allow yourself to take on before you crash and burn. And I know with me to run to my 100% full potential, I've got to focus on the areas um, that are really important to me. And yes, I say Instagram and hashtags are a very, very big undertaking and I applaud anyone that's done that before and I know that Ruan and Sam have done the So Frugal Challenge and that's a whopping challenge as well. So many people have entered that. Uh, there is also the So Yellow for Endo um, that, that's happening at the moment. It's a great way to raise awareness for endometriosis. So I'll be having a make, I think that's on the 31st of March um, to show you guys for that. There's also this So Selfless April Challenge, which Adele, I think, is running for from over in the UK, So for Serenity. So there's heaps of challenges happening at the moment. Um, and also, before I get started on my new patterns, it is coming. There's a couple of new vloggers that I'm watching that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Um, there is another Aussie vlogger called Sewing Seams with Deb, and that's over in uh, Perth in Western Australia. It's so nice seeing some more new Aussie vloggers and new faces and Deb's got quite a few episodes there to catch up on. I'm really enjoying her vlogs. And there's also in the UK So Sarah Style. I think her channel is fabulous. I have just finished watching an episode 
and I noticed that uh, she brought attention to um, the So Yellow for Endo um, challenge. There's a dress called the Size Me Sewing VN Dress that's got a discount code to use uh, that you can get 20% off that dress. And I think it's called Endo Friendly, the code, so that lets you get 20% off. So I've just finished downloading that VN dress and I'm really liking the look of it. I love the way she styled it and the fabric that she's made it from as well. And I think Tamlin's made one very similar. So loving watching Sarah's channel. Um, I would love to hear who you guys are watching. If you're watching any new vloggers on YouTube or maybe you're watching a vlogger that you've loved for a long time write it in the comments below because it's a great way of finding new youtubers out there that really inspire you to getting in your sewing mood now before i get going i want to talk about what i'm wearing today because i've been forgetting to do that every week i've been and actually had my hair done at the hairdresser today I had the, the old grays covered up and i thought while my hair is looking all nice and fresh and bouncy i'm going to film a vlog for you guys uh it's always nice that fresh hair feeling isn't it um but the shirt i'm wearing today is a beautiful lady mcelroy viscose i I'm trying to get more of this fabric in. It is so uh, gorgeous, this print. Um, but this is the Lucien pattern from I Am Patterns, a really nice, floaty, soft, easy shirt without the collar stand, just a nice, simple make, um, a really great one. And I'm really enjoying wearing shirts at the moment over jeans, and I'm uh, really excited to get into that So April blouse um, to make some shirts for myself for the month. So, um, yeah, it's a great hashtag to get involved in. Um, the brand new pattern release this morning that I've noticed has just come out just before I was ready to film is the Style Arc uh, Hope woven dress add-on pack now this has got to be one of their most popular patterns ever i've made two i think and maybe the top version now i am actually stockers for style up patterns but i haven't got these patterns in they are on their way um, but you can also um, buy them pdf or a0 printing as well um, but the i love the the Hope Woven Dress, the style, it's got a really nice raglan style sleeve um, and they have added on some different bodices. So you've got the crossover kind of wrap style bodice. The one I love is the one with the slit at the front and the little tie. It's just beautiful. You've got a couple of different sleeve options which are just beautiful. Uh, a really lovely puff sleeve and kind of like a, a rouge sleeve just stunning there's also a button through bodice as well so that's giving you so many options now to add on if you've already got the hope woven dress the extension pack will be a marvelous um, little addition to your fabric um, pattern stash and I think that have, knowing a pattern works well and knowing you can use the add-ons it really gives you that freedom then to use that fabric that you love knowing that the pattern fits well it's a beautiful um, dress because there's not a lot of volume of um, the gathering around the front it just sits really nicely and I do love it in a drapey viscose or crepe I've made it in cotton lawn before it's beautiful too and I've also said that the top style of it is just a lovely one to wear so got some new patterns they've got the Munro cow neck which is a beautiful woven style sleeveless top that looks like a really handy little shell style top and I think anything with a cow neck just sits beautifully on the knit patterns they've released this month are the Glenda and the Lucia. So I'll put pics up for you guys to see. Anything I discuss here today will be listed in the description box below. If you wanted to click on those links, it's a much easier way than jotting down patterns. I know a lot of people love to go through and check that description box as well. Uh, the next uh, new release is the Regalia blouse from Sew House 7. Now, this one is a beautiful little vintage style blouse with a puff sleeve again. It's got a higher kind of neck, and I love the way it's got the pleating just above the bust, the, the drapey gathering effect. Uh, it's really pretty. You can get 20% off for the month for its release, so a great way to pick up a brand new pattern. I'll be definitely jumping on to get this pattern because I love Peggy's patterns. They are all beautiful and they fit wonderfully as well. Uh, size range for this is double O to 20 or 16 to 34. She's given a lot of different options as far as fabrics to you. So anything lovely and soft and floaty is going to work beautiful. Viscose, rayons, crepes, um, also cotton voils would be beautiful and floaty with that nice gathering effect. Depending on the fabric you use, you can really change the look of the way it sits on the body. She's done a cropped version, which looks great with a pair of jeans. And the lengthened version as well with the tie looks wonderful. And you can also do different uh, length sleeves. So 
a really lovely addition to So House Sevens patterns. Uh, yeah, she's got some wonderful, great little basics there. If you love wearing a pair of jeans, that blouse is going to be fantastic. But I think you could really dress it up with something special like a broderie on glaze fabric. I think it would also look really stunning in that. Uh, the next pattern release is from a lovely French brand called Apolline Patterns. Now, I love these French patterns. I am so, trying so hard to get some into my online store because they are so popular. The reason I love Apolline's patterns is because you do have video tutorials with the patterns. So she, although they're in French, they're very easy to follow along. The patterns are in French or English, um, but the videos, the vlogs, sew-alongs are only in French. But to me from watching through it is just so easy to follow even if you don't speak French easy to follow because you're given those very clear video instructions step by step I love watching someone do a sew along and have that great video footage of them you know looking down on the pattern pieces and it really helps you um, to take you through if you're needing a bit more extra help um, but the Apolline pattern release that I loved is the bridal collection it is a stunning bridal collection the honey and the moon uh, capsule pieces the great thing about this is if you're sewing for a bride to be or a lot of these can be definitely just made into a dress uh, for a formal occasion you can mix and match the bottom and the top so there's so many different uh, versions there that you can swap around and they do come in different packs um, I just think they are just stunning and the way they've been photographed are uh, just beautiful so she's done a wonderful job creating these uh, wardrobe bridal collections but her patterns are just amazing so i'm hoping to get those in the very near future in store um the next pattern release is from the matchy matchy club now this is a blouse pattern it's called the collage gathered top patchwork you can do it with you can mix and match prints check stripes florals um, if you love doing a patchwork style blouse this is a really great one they've got beautiful gathers uh you've got your billowy short or longer sleeve and you can also hack it very easily into a dress and size range for the collage gathered top is extra extra small to 6XL so they've been a very popular little pattern company a lot of new patterns happening there so it's really exciting to see another new release is the wardrobe by me Aurora caftan dress now we do love a good caftan dress they're a very easy dress to wear and style and you can also make them quite easily into a blouse you've got two different collar options you've got the whimsical kind of collar option with a tie front or just the standard simple collar um, size range in the Aurora caftan is 0 to 24 uh, next we have a release that was very popular last month the end of last month I didn't quite catch that in my Feb pattern releases these are the closet core Jude jeans they're a really lovely stretch high-waisted pair of jeans with a bootleg uh, they've got a slight flare bootleg which is really all coming back in but I love it had it styled it and they've done it with that nice high waist size range is 0 to 32 and as always closet core has great instructions um, the club release the closet cl closet core club release for last month was this sage split front skirt it's also another great one if you're part of the club um, you'll get that um, pattern to download uh, and I had a lot of different people writing different comments about the club patterns what you guys all think about the clubs of course the cashmere red and the uh, closet call both having clubs um yeah do you guys like um having to choose your own patterns or do you like clubs and there was a real divide down the middle a lot of people said no they prefer to buy their own patterns and a lot of people loved having that um, special surprise each month so um, you can see why they would um, companies like that would be doing it so I think it would really help inspire people that needed things in their wardrobe but maybe didn't know what they wanted uh, and there's also, that also people that um, prefer the, to buy the standalone pattern so it's interesting to see all the remarks on that um, the so different pattern this is a re-release of the tulip dress they've added a, an add-on puff long sleeve to that and of course I'm a stockist for so different patterns I'm the only stockist in Australia that um, Laura has let me know which is fantastic so I really love promoting her patterns and she has got some new patterns on their way to me at the moment so they won't be far away I know a lot of you are waiting on those. Philip dress is a really stunning dress it's a lovely fit it's a sort of above the knee it's got a nice pleating with the ease through the body quite a modern looking dress but having that 
long sleeve option really does give you plenty more options for heading into the cooler weather. Uh, a new release from Aussie company Tazuti Patterns is the Tosca tunic pattern. That is a really lovely carefree throwover style tunic pattern sizes 6 to 22, flared and really ruby like a wide bound kind of boat neck as well. So it's something that would be beautiful if you're in a hot climate, if you're wanting something with a gauze or a linen or something that's just a loose weave, this would be fantastic for wearing um, to the beach or just around the house, but also very easy to hack into a blouse as well with a pair of jeans. Now last week we also had the Pattern Emporium new release which was the Coastal Side Split Skirt. A lot of you went on to buy that pattern. Thank you so much if you did that through my affiliate link. I really appreciate it. It does help uh, to support the channel. Uh, but it's a really fantastic basic skirt. Kate has made so many different versions of that. But I love it. Just as a simple long line skirt with a one split. I also love how she's done it with the pockets, the angled pockets. They really do look lovely. And I think it would be beautiful not only in the viscose linens, which is what I've got it made with um, but you could definitely do something a bit more heavier weight for heading into winter with a pair of boots so uh, it was great to hear a lot of good feedback from that skirt it's nice and comfy full elastic waist as well but not a lot of gathering through the body so quite simple and long line of the column shape now Helen's Closet have released a gender neutral style quilted coat pattern called the Wildwood. Um, it can be made into a vest as well. You can get really creative with your quilting styles that you want to use and the fabrics that you also would like to make it from. Uh, size range on that one is at 0 to 34 and remember you can put things like poppers on to make it easy uh, if you don't want to do buttonholes. Um, yeah, Helen's got great instructions there and really a great way to get creative with a lot of these new quilt quilted uh, coat patterns coming out for winter. Another re-release is the Friday Pattern Company Avenir Jumpsuit. Now this jumpsuit has been re-released uh, and updated with sizes. It's now extra small to 7XL. It is a very roomy, elastic waist woven jumpsuit so it's a lovely style and I really love it in the longer sleeve too you can have it off the shoulder or on uh, lovely in a lot of different fabrics as well a lot of different woven so things like your viscose rayons you can use cotton lawns you can use linen depending um, on the weather that you're making it for you can really adapt uh, and utilize different fab fabrics to give you a bit more wear um, but jumpsuits are really handy um, kind of things to have in the wardrobe I must admit I did tend to start wearing my Zadie more towards the end of summer my short sleeve Zadie and I I really need to make another one of those um, but the Avenir would be lovely because it's got that comfortable elastic waist. Another really lovely uh, pattern creator is called Vivian Xiao Chen and she has got a really lovely uh, kind of a whimsical shirt dress called the Terra Dress. It's an easy wear shirt dress with different interchangeable options so you can change things like the sleeves on the different versions. Uh, view A she's listed as more of a romantic version uh, and view B a more structured version. So this is a beautiful button through dress. Um, the sleeve detail is incredible. A lot of her patterns are just beautiful, exquisitely photographed as well. Um, light to mid-weight wovens, extra small to three extra large. And I'm really interested to try one of her blouse patterns. I think her, her patterns are really, really unique. Uh, it's got something just very, as I say, soft and romantic about the way they're photographed as well. So I would love to try one of those patterns. Cashmere have come out with a biker jacket, the Canton Moto Jacket. This looks incredible. I'd all, I've always admired people that have made um, leather or faux leather jackets with the angular zips. They look like they're very involved and very fiddly, but I think if um, if you're going to try one, it would have to be one from Cashmere because the pattern instructions are fantastic. Um, and also the fact that her size range is 0 to 32 and you've got up to G or H cup. Um, bust sizes so if you struggle with things like crop jackets and getting them to fit right the uh, moto jacket would be fantastic from cashmere patterns she's also said things like heavyweight uh, wovens uh, it's got all the biker details that everyone loves the asymmetric front zip you can have crop length or hip length depending on what you prefer um, things like not only leather or pleather you can also use things like boil wool boucle jacquard which would be beautiful or denim uh, or again vinyl or leather so I would be really interested to see one of these made up and I know that her um, Kimball bomber jacket's been a very popular jacket uh, on the internet as well. One of my favorite pattern companies is Pattern Scout and Casey has released a brand new pattern called the Bridget T and I love this t-shirt pattern it's actually it's a top pattern but it's got a beautiful squared neck she's got it in a long or short sleeve versions um, you can use it 
for the long or cropped length. Um, it's got uh, you need a niche fabric, so either two or four way stretch with a 50% horizontal stretch. Uh, I love, love Casey's patterns and of course the Ava dress I've made before, I've made a poppy blouse. Um, don't forget, um, yeah, her patterns are just brilliant and she's also got a, a special on for the month, 15% off all of her patterns and if you buy two or more you get 20% off with the code bundle up. Um, the Bridget tee, the new release, is just really lovely, a good basic if you're wanting a tee top with more of detail and that having that really nice squared neckline. The size range is at 0 to 30. You've got B, C and D cup options as well for the Bridget T. So I really love her channel as well. If you haven't followed Casey's YouTube channel, go ahead and uh, check out all of her makes. She does have quite a few things that she does sew along for as well. So uh, a really lovely top, the Bridget. The assembly line has come out with a new top called the Funnel Neck Top. It's got some beautiful darts at the neckline. It's a woven pattern um, and usually funnel neck tops are more of a knit style pattern. So it's really unusual to see a woven, that more of a modern structured style top. Uh, the size range is extra small to three extra large. You've got the short sleeve option or the elbow length option. And there's also a keyhole back with the buttons, which is really nice. Uh, it's a lovely shaped top. They've also said to use things like cottons and silks, which would be beautiful or more of a structured look, be a, like a lawn or a linen. So uh, really love, uh, love assembly line patterns for a more modern look. So they are all the pattern releases I had. There's plenty there to look through. I hope there's a bit of inspo for you guys to get some sewing done. I'd love to hear also your favorite new pattern release out of that lot. I've got to say, I'm really excited for the Hope Woven dress add-on. I will definitely be making one of those. I really love the way they photographed it and, and you can see the options in a photo, not just a line drawing. I also love it when you can see on different shaped and age, different age models. I think it really is really important to give you that visual on how um, you think it may look on your body. So really excited for that one. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love it. We would really appreciate that as well as a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content today. Have a wonderful sewing week. I'll be back at the end of the week with some new fabrics in the store. So I hope you can join me for that. But if not, have a wonderful week. We'll see you all soon. Bye for now.